This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Tickets are on sale for the annual Daddy-Daughter Dance February 11th in Afreda. A rally is planned for February 11th in support of the Moses Lake School District's $135.1 million construction bond. Lawmakers in Utah will consider whether to lower the legal age for a concealed carry permit from 21 to 18. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Tickets are on sale for the annual Daddy-Daughter Dance February 11th in Afreda. The 10th annual event starts with a catered dinner at 6 p.m. at the Afreda Recreation Center. Dancing starts at 7.30 p.m. for the glitter and gold themed dance. The dinner includes the choice of pizza or prime rib. The cost is $40 per couple for both dinner and dancing and $15 for each additional daughter. Tickets are just $10 to join the dance portion of the event. Tickets cannot be purchased at the door and need to be purchased by February 10th. Registration is available on the City of Afreda website at afreda.org or by calling City Hall at 509-754-4426. For mothers and sons looking for something to do the same evening, Lee Theater is hosting a mother and son movie night featuring the Lego Batman movie at 6.30 p.m. The cost is $30 for two movie tickets, two hot dogs, and two kids trays. Any additional tickets are just $15. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. A rally is planned for February 11th in support of the Moses Lake School District's $135.1 million construction bond. Grant County Democrats are hosting the rally from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at Nepal Landing, located at the corner of South Alder Street and West Broadway Avenue. Organizers say everyone is welcome to attend, and Moses Lake High School students are encouraged to show their support. Ballots for the February 14th special election were mailed out January 27th. The bond includes constructing a 1,600-student, two-story high school for $111.4 million, a new elementary school for $19.5 million, and upgrades to Moses Lake High School costing about $13.8 million. The proposed bond is estimated to cost $1.46 per $1,000 of assessed value of a home, business, or property. The median home in Moses Lake is valued at about $141,000 with an increase of $1,750 per month in property tax if the bond is approved. The school district is hosting its last community bond information night on Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the school district boardroom located on East Yonanzawa Boulevard. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. They say about 20 to 25 percent of women college age face assault on campus. Hannah Coleman is 19 years old and a student at Utah State University Eastern. By law, she can't carry a concealed weapon for another two years. I felt that if we have all of these legal rights as adults at 18 years old, there's no reason that we shouldn't also be able to take training to get a concealed carry permit as well. She brought her idea, the state representative Carrie Ann Lisenby, who helped turn those convictions into House Bill 198. And that permit allows them to conceal carry uh, anywhere that a regular permit would allow, except on K-12 through school grounds. Lizenby says 17 other states in our country allow concealed carry for those between 18 and 21 years old. It's time for us to allow our 18-year-olds that are going to college and our 19-year-olds that are going to college to protect themselves. It's a position that Connor Boyack with Libertas Institute agrees with. We asked him if he thinks the bill has a chance of making it out of committee next week and becoming law. I think there will be a lot of support here in the legislature for this bill. The question just remains whether the governor would sign it into law. He's not exactly a gun-friendly governor on many of these issues, and so many legislators take that into mind. Should we pass this bill if it's going to get vetoed? From the iFiber One Weather Center, I'm Jeff Slicky, taking a look at this week's forecast around the basin. Cloudy skies for Monday and about 37 degrees. Moving into Tuesday, maybe see a little bit of snow, but nothing really sticking around for partly sunny skies and about 37 for Tuesday. More of the same for Wednesday and Thursday. Weekend actually looking pretty good. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slicky. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, Visit us online at ifiber1.com or check us out on Facebook.